Check it out, boys. Everybody remembers the Dinkley sprinkler. But now I got you, boys. Here's the lacrosse toss. Watch the spread here. Woo, baby. Should have played for the Lakers, my son. Hey, hit me up. I'm Captain Material. It's a four minutes, five minutes vlog right there. Blue glove right there on it. Frick. Partially naked. Well, you can see how those drifts will get you. This was cleared at 3 a.m. last night. And now it's about three foot deep drifted in. But we don't complain, buddy. We just get it done. But Ian just beasted like three foot of snow out of that big stairwell there. How's that, Eni? Oh, another day, another dollar, buddy. Just another day for Canadian boy. Let's clean her up. There's a sidewalk there. Ha! I'm not even gonna lie. We didn't even try to do that yesterday because it's a pretty low priority friggin' sidewalk and we were too busy. So we got the little two stroker out. Ian's gonna cut that thing down, baby. Woo! Welcome back, folks. Ricky Quick, Dick Fast here again, ladies. Check it out. This is the Tuesday morning, boys, after the big storm, Snowmageddon Monday. Me and Ian, we're back out, we're at it again, doing what I call the fine tune and cleanups, okay? We're like them chimpanzees when they're just sitting there, picking everything they can off the next one. That's how we handle these sidewalks, ladies. We're gonna go out, we're gonna catch every sidewalk again, anything that's drifted in, stuff that we never got to, emergency exits, stuff like that, okay? We're gonna scour every square inch of these properties. Just like a preteen on the internet, scour every square inch of it and find what we can that might be enjoyable. Then, we're gonna hit these suckers with about a quarter inch layer of salt to them, boy. You know your uncle's wife, that Newfoundland woman, cooks you that nice salty beef jigs to anybody every once in a who now? Yeah, that's how salty these sidewalks are gonna be when we're done, Bucky. No question there. These are gonna dry up like a frickin' crusty old elbow in the wind, buddy. No question. Anyways, carrying on. Hey, boys, you know when you're home alone and you just feel like fully exposing your walks? Yeah, we just did that in public. Well, boys, looks like I just picked up another convenience store. Friends of the owners of one of the other convenience stores. And she's a disaster here, buddy. First time I ever plowing the place and there's over a foot of snow. Well, that's no problem for us. We'll figure it out. We'll get her done. Some boys I know I said this thing looked like a disaster okay but it really wasn't that bad buddy the hemi plow rig has no trouble pushing anything it goes up against but not only that I've been to this store a couple few half a dozen thousand times before it's a pretty small city pal so once I got to plowing it I just felt comfortable and relaxed like I imagine one of them puppeteers who works for them Elmo and friends freaking feels like when they got their hand up the ring or one of those fluffy little buggers, okay? But anyways. All done. How's that? It's good. Is, so is this an entry the whole way? Yeah. Okay, I wasn't sure. All 
Alrighty boys, picked up another residential. This one belongs to another one of our store owners. Them suckers are really coming through for me on this storm, ain't they now? Anyways, don't really have a clue where it is or what it looks like, but we'll find it. Looked at the Google Maps image of it. It was an empty lot, so. So it's her. That's not too bad. Now listen, folks. I may be about as silly as a frickin' ball of that putty, buddy, but listen. Even I know the Hemi plow rigs are less than ideal set up for doing residential, okay? Problem is, these little neighborhoods, buddy, they get tighter than a lady Sasquatch, and there's no question about that, okay? This rig's a lot lizard, buddy, but that's fine. I'm not gonna turn down a job from one of my customers on his own home. Who the hell would I be, buddy? Plus, I love money. It's great to me, and I'm good to it. So I'm just gonna do what it takes to get this done. Back dragging, pushing her side to side, you know? Just like a homeless with a shopping cart, buddy. I'm gonna push this thing everywhere. No problem. But if I was gonna do these little residentials in these neighborhoods, I'd just get a little small truck, bud. 1500, maybe even a Ford Ranger. Two boys, two shovels, two little blowers, two buckets of salt. You could come through one of these neighborhoods and make a fortune. Good money. Low overhead, boys. But get insured. You need to be legit, because that's what we are. Sick of you fly-by-nights, ruining our industries. I keep forgetting to mention it, folks. But if you made it this far into the video, please hit us with a subscribe. Maybe like the video. Comment below. Even if you want to say, hey, guy, you suck. Who cares, buddy? Give me the comment. It's going to help me spread across the YouTube, okay? The YouTube... They like that, boys. Cheers. What do you think? Okay, yeah, it's yeah, about as good as I. Oh you know, wow! Thanks, enough? man. Okay. That's more okay, than enough. Okay. <laughs> hey, appreciate it. No problem. Yeah. Now let's bring this video back around full sphincter, boys, to where we started. Final cleanups, buddy. The good stuff. Now, if you've been watching along in the videos, you might just remember this particular property they got some units down at the far end there they told me we need those plowed in tighter than a shrink there last guy wasn't doing it tight enough the forklift couldn't get in there you can't do that and we got no use for you buddy like the second H in shepherd's pie but anyways this day i got a little tight in there buddy check it out And trust me, I know, there's better ways to plow up against that wall than to knock, 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 knock your mirror on them suckers like Kevin's door, buddy. But guess what? That makes a better video, so get off my back. I will show you how to plow up against a wall coming soon, okay? But the odd time, when she crusts up a bit and things need to be delegated by hand, me and Ian will take the extra five, ten minutes just to push that out where it needs to be. That way... I can get her cleaned up cleaner than a baby white buddy, no problem. Okay? Carrying on. Hey, no problem. Save my back and my back's fucked Oh, f no, you don't need that. Yeah, once I started doing it, I said, this is bullshit. Yeah. Anyways, we'll talk again in the future. Yes, sir. We'll yeah, we get a bad one, I'll come see you, okay? okay thanks, man. Have a great day. Okay, bye. Oh, boys. That's tried and true rig right there, buddy. Never let us down one time during winter storm, Izzy. She's on her fifth winter. No complaints on this girl. This has been the most reliable truck I've ever had. Hemi Power, baby. Dodge family. And we ran it the whole time on that half exhaust. Couldn't get an appointment in time. 
What a trusty rig. Alrighty, folks. That's my three-part video series there on Winter Storm Izzy. She was a cruel mistress. No question there. But hey, nothing but good times for us. What else could we be doing? I'd rather be doing this than a roof, pal. No question there. Anyways, she was a doozy. Put over a thousand kilometers on the truck there in about 36 hours just plowing snow. Probably a third of that's in reverse. So, she's a true rig, buddy. She's tested and tried. For a video series about a man with his truck going hand in hand against Mother Nature, I'd say I picked a good one to join me in the battle, folks. So, till next time. Cheers, ladies.